Today's video is going to look at welding. I've just got a MIG welding machine about a year ago, but I've only used it four times so far. Uh, so I'm just going to show you some welding. So I'm going to be welding these two pieces of angle iron together. Here's the MIG welding machine down here, which I got on eBay. As you'll see in the pictures I'll put in in a minute, um, it was a bit um, needed some refurbishment when I got it, but now it's great. First thing I need to make sure that the metal is really clean. Uh, so these have already been wire brushed, but I'm also going to angle grind down the um, edge that's going to be welded. I'll just do the inside as well. And I'm also cleaning up a, um, another bit just to use so that I can get a good earth on it with the uh, cable. MIG stands for metal inert gas and basically what you have is you have this um, lance here and at the um, nozzle here you have a piece of wire which comes out which is uh, pulled out pushed out by a motor at the other end and this wire is electrified with a high current so that's what makes the metal melt and this um, the steel wire here which is copper coated melts onto the uh, joint as well to add extra metal into it Around the outside of the uh, wire, uh, we have what's called shielding gas coming out. And that comes from this bottle of argon here, which is the inert gas. And the purpose of this is to stop the very hot metal rusting very quickly, which would affect the quality of the weld. So I've got the wire installed here in the machine, which uh, I don't leave there because it goes rusty otherwise. And I've got the gas connected up but not turned on yet. The first thing to do is to um, check the flow rate of the gas. Now we haven't actually got any gauge on the system here, so we have to use this crude gadget, which is a um, flow measuring device. So we put this rubber cone over the end of the nozzle, and we look at how far this ball bearing goes up in the tube. The instructions say you need about three to five liters per minute. Um, but I've discovered it works better with slightly more like about six which is where my thumbnail is so if I turn the gas on by pressing the trigger so that's about our six litres per minute we've got some adjustments down on the machine down here so um, we've got the main on off switch uh, we've got the speed of the wire which I've got on medium and because it's quite thick metal I've got the power switches on uh, maximum and two which are the highest uh, current output um, if you're on the low settings you can run this machine off of a normal 13 amp socket but because I'm on the highest setting I need to use this 16 amp socket which is just about enough now it's very important we put the welding mask on because the light is very bright and can blind you and the um, welding gauntlet because things get very hot uh, what else do we need to do? Oh yes, and to complete the electrical circuit we need to put the earthing clamp on. So one side of the electrical circuit is the wire coming out of the um, welding lance and the other is the welding, is the earthing clamp there which is on my cleaned up piece of metal. Generally, once it starts welding, you're okay because you can see what you're doing. It's the starting off bit that's difficult. I've only done this four times before.
Well, that attempt started off okay, and then the wire stopped feeding because I only had a small amount of wire um, off the end of this reel wrapped onto another reel. Uh, so I've now loaded the large reel on there, and I'm now going to have a third attempt. Now I'm going to attempt to go on the inside of the angle iron. And then we can have a laugh at what sort of mess I've made. So this is the inside. Well, I did uh, think I could see what I was doing a little bit there. And then we can turn it around. If it's not too hot still. Right. And this is the outside. Which is a bit of a mess. So that side's where my wire stopped. And this is... I was having trouble starting at the beginning which is why there's these lumps of wire all stuck on it still very hot still so there we have it that's my crazy welding video thanks for watching